In this video, we'll break down how to install Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. Now, if you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro 10 plugins, go ahead and check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. I have a whole bunch of really cool plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. So in this video, I'll just give you a brief overview of how to actually install um, plugins and some really cool, um, really cool like troubleshooting tips. Just things that you want to be aware of when you're installing um, any kind of Final Cut Pro 10 plugin. Now, if you have any issues or any more additional questions or you're running into other things that just aren't working, go ahead and send me a DM on Instagram and I will get back to you and help you resolve the issue. So in most cases, when you purchase a Final Cut Pro 10 plugin, it should just send you an email where you can go ahead and download the file. Now, most cases, what it's going to be, it's going to be a zip file. So the, the file is going to look like this. It's going to be plugin, effect, whatever, dot zip. Now, to unzip a file, all you have to do is just simply double click on the file, and there you go, and it should just open up the folder. Now, this is the folder you want to actually go ahead and place in your motion template folder. So don't, don't install the, the zip file. Go ahead and double click the zip file, and then it should open this folder, and that's the folder you want to be placing again in your motion template folder. So to actually access your motion Motion template folder what you want to do is head over here to go then go over here to home and then you want to do is head over to movies so double click on movies and you should have a folder called motion templates now if you don't have this folder you can also like right click and create a new folder but this folder should already be pre-built once you actually purchase um, a final cut so again this folder should already be here and if it's not here you can go ahead and recreate and create it by yourself now if the folder is not here and you have to create the folder completely from scratch what you want to do is you want to right click on the folder and go over here click on get info and you want to make sure it says motion templates dot localize under names and extensions this is really important so make sure so double check and make sure um, that is correct so we can go ahead and just exit out of it now if we open up the folder as you can see here are all the folders and again if these folders are, aren't here you can go ahead and right click and just like create a new folder now for each one of the folders if I go ahead and, and right click on generators click on get info as you can see it says generators dot localize or transitions dot localize effects dot localize titles dot localize this is really important under names and extensions this dot localized thing has to be there so it should it has to be there for each one of these folders you can go ahead and just check all the folders to make sure that also has the dot localized thing now if we go ahead and open up each one of these folders as you can see see here are the folders now if we go ahead and open up like the film mat overlays as you can see if we open up it has this icon now this icon is for a generator so if it has this icon this is for a generator so if we go back out and then go to effects and we open up one of the RN shakes open up earthquake this is what the effect icon looks like now head over here to the titles if we open up one of the titles so do like motion blur and then right and open it up and see it should have this icon for a title now if we go to transitions and open up one of the transitions right here it's ink bleed transition this is the icon it should have. So you want to make sure those icons match up with the different folders. So each each folder is very specific to which it can go into. So like if a plugin is built for a generator, it has to go in the generator folder. If it's for the title, it has to go in the title folder. So it's very specific to the different folders. So just make sure you go ahead and read the description of each product and make sure you're placing it in the right folder. So as you can see right here, here are all again, here are all of the effects. So what you want to do is you can see, so in motion template folder effects generator titles and transitions so what you would do is you want you want to figure out where your actual folder goes so go ahead and read the description of the of the actual product you bought or go ahead and watch the video so what you want to do is let's say this plugin right here is a transition all you simply do is select on this folder, so select on the folder and then you just drag it into your transitions folder and it should just come like a little icon should come up which is like asking if you want to move it and go ahead and just click on move if that message comes up so all you're simply doing is just dragging your folder into one of the folders either the effects generators titles or transitions folder in your motion template folder so again if I open up the transitions folder as you can see ink bleed Polaroid paper rip essential transitions and then essential transitions v2 so that's basically all you want to do is you just want to take the folder and drag it into one of in one of these four folders and then I'm going to go ahead and open up final cut and show you how to locate or find each one of these folders now if you're having issues with installing plugins what I recommend is doing two things either 
updating Final Cut because only certain plugins are only going to work with certain versions of Final Cut. And also, before you install plugins, I would highly recommend closing out Final Cut, placing the folder into one of these folders in your Motion Template folder, and then restarting Final Cut. And that's pretty much it. So we go ahead and head out into your Motion Template folder, and that's basically what you want to do. So again, Motion Template folder, and then drag that folder into whichever folder it's supposed to be in. And again, most product descriptions, most YouTubers will tell you whether it's either an effect, a generator, title, or a transition. So once you install the plugin, you want to just again reopen Final Cut. And again, if there's some sort of issue or it's still not working, and you let you close that Final Cut, install the plugin, reopened it multiple times, and it's still not working, I would go ahead and again just update Final Cut. So again, the reason that they probably aren't working is you need to either update Final Cut, it's in the wrong folder, or you just simply need to restart Final Cut or refresh Final Cut. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you where to locate each one of the different like um, the different folders. In your motion template. So what do you have over here to titles and generators? So as you can see right here, here are your titles. So here would be all of your title plugins. So as you can see, the motion blur plugin, the adjustment layer plugin, and the, the this is the actual plugin that I built, the creator bundle. So again, as you can see, titles, so all, everything you put in that titles folder is going to be right here, and then here it also go to creator bundle, and let's say we want to use one of these titles, Polaroid frame. In most cases, the titles, all you want to do is take the, is just select on the title you want, and then just drag it on top of your actual clip right here. So you see, I just uh, just dragged it on top of my clip, and what you want to do is you want to select on one of your, so this title plugin, or whichever one you end up using and usually you want to, what you want to do is you want to head over to this icon right here and then here are all the published parameters you see we can increase the scale of the drop zone this as you see we can just mess with the title so that's all you want to do just drag one of these titles on top of your clip head over to this icon and as you see here are all of the different like settings you can kind of like do to really kind of like optimize the plugin so we go ahead and just simply delete this one. What you want to do is head over here to generators. So, so you, as you can see, generators. So here would be all your generators. You can see paper up transitions. Now this film matte overlay is for sale on my website. So you can see all of your generators, anything you put in the generator folder is going to be here. So again, what you would do is you would just take which uh, you know click which generator you want and just place it on top of your clip. And what you want to do is you want to click on this icon and make sure this icon is selected. And as you see, you'll see all like the published parameters so you can really customize the generator plugin. And that's basically how you apply like uh, generators and title plugins. You know what you want to do is head over here. The next one is head over here to the effects. So here are all of your effects. So we scroll down here are all of the effects. So the RN Shake, the RN Animation, and then my plugin, the Ultimate Bundle. So all of your effects you put in your effects folder are going to be here. So let's say you want to apply like the glint. All you want to do is just drag the effect onto your actual clip. We can exit out of the effect window. And then as you can see, now we can just we can just mess with uh, we can just mess with the actual like plugin. So we can mess with the exposure, we can mess um with the actual tint, we can mess with um the colors. You can see you can really kind of mess with everything. We can go to like the intensity and you see. So to see we can go through and mess with the different colors, and then each of these are gonna have the different settings. So the glow amount, there you go. As you can see, I'm customizing it. Or if I want to apply a different effect, you can go ahead and apply like the dazzle, the CRT, offset. These are a whole bunch. Let's, let me apply this. All I want to just do is simply drag the effect onto your actual clip. And as you can see, there we go. Now you have this really cool like page curl effect. Now the fourth and final category are your transitions. So let's say we have these clips right here. We want to apply a transition. What you would do is you would just want to trim the end of the first clip and then just simply trim the beginning of the second clip. And what you want to do is you want to head over here to your transitions tab. So here are all the transitions that you inst put in your transitions folder. They're all going to be over here. So you see we can just disable it and then enable it. And all you would do is let's say you want to just take the transition, you want to find your two clips, and then just place the transition in between your two clips, and there you go, you have this really clean um, transition, so we go ahead and play the video as you see, now you have this really cool like ink bleed transition. So that's how you install Final Cut Pro 10 plugins, and then again where you can locate your effects, titles, generators, and titles folders, go ahead and you see, again I'll kind of go over it, all the generators and titles are going to be here, and then effects, and then transition. So you can go ahead and just locate what you can just locate whichever ones you're trying uh, to find. There you go. That's basically the simplest explanation. Again, if you have any questions, go ahead and send me a DM on Instagram. If one of the plugins isn't working, I'll be more than happy 
to help you. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And again, if you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro 10 um, plugins, go ahead and check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. I have a whole bunch of really cool bundles that you can use in Final Cut with just some really cool uh, effects. And again, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.